Good afternoon, guys. It's working, bringing you a quick update on Bitcoin. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin to the U.S. dollars, the one-day chart on Coinbase. And I'm going to try to make this quick, guys. Um, Bitcoin has been, uh, obviously, guys, has been on a tear for the last, uh, well, since going on February the 7th, uh, excuse me, February the 7th. Um, I mean, just looking beautiful so far, guys, this chart. Now, as I've been telling you guys, this area right here between uh, 4120 and 4000, this was going to be the very, very critical area. I told you guys this since we had this bounce back here on uh, on February 7th, February 8th, um, that this was going to be the massive critical area. Just to recap, for those of you that have not seen it, obviously, if we look in the past, there was a ton of order structure all back here, guys. I mean, it was just very, very obvious that this was a very strong supply zone. Um, for those that aren't familiar, and again, I don't mean to talk down to you veteran traders, guys, but I know I have a lot of people talking to me or listening to this from uh, all different levels, those that are just starting out, those that are even thinking of starting out to very advanced traders. Um, so for those that don't know what I mean by a supply zone, a supply zone is just an area where there are very likely a lot of sell orders sitting. And we knew that this area between 4120 and 4000 had a lot of very likely sell orders just because we saw it in the past here when price broke down. Every time it tried to wick back up here, every time it tried to break back up, it was rejected. Uh, very strongly. Now, we, we had some wicks here that broke up above it, but again, they were only wicks. Immediately got back, re immediately got rejected by the bears um, every single time. Price came back up, wick, 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 broke back down here, wick, wick here. And then we had this massive move on the 23rd where price broke up um, continued. We had some follow through on the 24th. That was yesterday. Price getting all the way up to on Coinbase 41.92. So just so uh, definitely breaking above that 41.20, but not decisively as we've been talking about. Remember, by decisively, as I continue to tell you with regard to this, guys, I mean the daily candle, both opening and closing above 41.20. We still haven't had even a daily candle since we established this low back here on December 15th. We still haven't even had a daily candle open above, much less open and close above that area. So I, I even had someone text message me saying, hey, we broke above 4120. What's next? Well, we 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 wicked above it, but we have not decisively broken above 4120. Um, we I mean we had wicked above it in the past. So you know I apologize if I had been unclear of that. But what we need to see is a decisive break, not a wick like we saw here or here or here or here, but a decisive break above. Um, so we'll wait and see if we can get that. We had that massive rejection. I told you guys on my last couple updates that this is an area that I would have um, considered shorting between 4,000 and 4,120. I'd consider putting in a short there. And if you did, you very, you very well likely, I told you to target that 3,800. We actually broke down even lower than that. Um, so if you did target 3,800 and got out, yeah, you could have gone a little bit further, but still, that was a nice profit you made. I did not. This happened over the weekend. I generally take the weekends off for family. Um, so I completely missed this. Um, I, and I should have had this setting up. I should have. I knew I should have. I didn't want to get greedy. Um, and honestly, guys, I thought that I had a few more days. I thought I could let it go till Monday, but uh, I should have had this set up and I just didn't even even though I told you to say so, hey that's my bad I missed out hey you live and learn um, but anyway um, I also told you if price did break down that this area down here between 38 and 3700 would be a good entry point and I still think that's a real possibility guys to me this is looking like a possible possible bear trap um, to uh, and the reason I say that is twofold. We we price came back down and we we hit right here at that 3800 guys. It wasn't a complete collapse like we've seen in the past. We hit at a very very well known support. But also if we come over here guys and we look at overall volume. Now, let me just refresh it here so I have the most current volume here. So we look at overall volume. We're sitting at about 9.5 billion on the day. That is a significant uptick from what we were seeing prior to this move. What we were seeing prior to this move, I'm just going to bring it all the way back to... Uh, uh, we'll just go all the way back. But I mean, look, prior to this move, guys, if we just look back to the end of January, which was just a few weeks ago, guys, we're sitting at 5.5 5 .5 billion, 5.3 billion, 5.4, 5.2, back to 5 billion. So this is the kind of volume we were seeing. We've almost doubled that. Remember yesterday we had volume at 10.7, which is more than double that. But since we've had this move, since we had that move on February 17th, that spike, it was at 7 billion, 9.9, 9.9, 8.6, slow trickle off, and then another spike 
up to a, a 10.7 billion, which I believe that 10.7 billion is the most volume that we've seen at least since May of last year, if not earlier. So we're looking at a, we're looking at a spike in volume, the likes of which we haven't seen for at least nine months. I'd have to go back. It may even be more than that, but at least nine months, guys. So this is not insignificant. In other words, since we had this spike, We've had sustained volume, a little bit of a drop off, but overall a, a much higher volume than we had been seeing back here when it was just consistently sitting at five billion for uh, um, for for weeks on end. So this is not insignificant, guys. I'm not telling you. And today we're sitting at about nine point five. So all that to say, this is looking rather healthy. This is still looking rather healthy. Now again, until we break above decisively above forty one twenty again by decisively, I mean a daily candle, both opening and closing, not just opening, not just closing, opening and closing above 41.20. Until that happens, I'm still very skeptical of this. We still could see price come back down. But right now, guys, things are looking, in my opinion, things are still looking good, especially compared to what we've been seeing. And even if we see price come back down lower, guys, this is telling you that there's a lot of interest into in Bitcoin and the market is just looking for a reason to buy and to uh, um, and to uh, and and to uh, and, and to bottom out and turn back around again. We may not have seen the bottom, I'm not saying that we have, but this is a good, good sign any way you slice it. All right, coming out here and checking out our moving averages and exponential moving averages, guys. This is on the daily chart. Uh, we can see that obviously price came up here, hit the top of these Bollinger Bands. Um, we actually were was consolidating right here, had a nice break up above the Bollinger Bands briefly, found a lot of resistance, which was not unexpected, and then price breaks right back down. And look where it found resistance when it broke right back down, guys. Right there at that 21-day EMA. That's a rather that's an extremely extremely bullish sign in my opinion that it, we found that much support right there at that 21-day EMA. We can also see if we zoom in here, we already had the 8-day EMA crossing above the 55-day EMA. It looks to me like this 21-day uh, EMA here is about is on a trajectory to cross above that 55-day EMA. Obviously, that would be... Sorry about that, guys. Obviously, that would be a very bullish sign if that does happen. Um, and anytime you get that set up with the eight-day EMA on top, twenty-one or fifty-five-day EMA um, in the middle, twenty-one or excuse me, twenty-one-day EMA in the middle, fifty-five-day EMA on the bottom. That is a rather bullish setup, guys. And if we can complete that setup with the with the eight-day on top, twenty-one in the middle, fifty-five on the bottom, guys, if we can complete that setup, guys. In my opinion, that is a very very good sign of a of a longer-term momentum shift. Seeing that on the daily. Now that, that that certainly isn't always the case, and we're going to seriously have to sit here and um, um, and look at that's just one piece of the puzzle, as I always like to say, guys. There's many more pieces to the puzzle that we're going to that we're going to have to put together. But as of right now, if we can maintain above that 21-day EMA, guys, that'd be an extremely bullish sign, in my opinion. And obviously, the main goal that we're looking at here, anytime we, we you, many people have heard of the death cross, the death cross basically is on the daily chart. Um, it, it, some people actually define it a little bit way, but typically the the most the most common definition of the death of the death cross is on a daily chart the uh, the 200 day moving average um, um, crossing above or the 50 day moving average I should say crossing below the 200 day moving average that's typically considered a uh, a death cross and we had that quite some time ago and that ushered in a very very bearish market um, which was already starting to happen and we just had that a, the golden cross typically is the opposite of that that's when that 50 day moving average crosses above the 200 day moving average that's typically an indication of a of, of the start of a bull market now again it's one piece of a puzzle it isn't always the case but it is a very good indication. Now we're nowhere near there yet. Obviously, we can see the 50-day moving average is down here, 21-day, or excuse me, the 200-day sitting up here. So we still have quite a bit of difference. But that's the overall um, uh, uh, signal that we're looking for um, just um, down the road here in the long haul. Um, so that's just one thing I kind of want to keep you guys, in, and that's that's more for you new traders um, out there. You old traders are very familiar with that. But here, short term to signal a a shorter term bullish moment, shorter term bullish momentum, guys. Yeah, having that setup where the we uh, um, where the um, Eight day EMA is on top, 21 in the middle, 55 day on top, on the bottom, excuse me, 55 day EMA on the bottom. That's typically a very, very good sign of at least a temporary shift in uh, um, in favor of the bulls. And right now with that 21 day EMA acting as a very hard support, guys, that's a rather bullish sign overall. <clears throat> All right, let's quickly check out longs versus shorts. 
Longs versus shorts, guys. We had shorts dropping off the board um, here as price was going up. We've had them a little bit of an increase here, but really not much change at all. So not seeing really, I, th I think what more than likely, we're getting a lot of traders here that are sitting back and waiting to see where price goes. That's also confirmed when we switch over here and we look at long positions. Uh, longs dropped off the board here. This was a good sign. As I told you guys, people were taking profit as price was going up. That's a very, very healthy sign. Now we did have longs start to stack here just briefly and then got... Uh, uh, tapered off here um, over the last uh, let's see week or so um, and really just kind of moving sideways for now and again shows you that traders are kind of sitting on their hands waiting to see if this is all real but again guys the one of the things that we're seeing with this we had not seen in the past is we're seeing that that volume remain relatively high now it's still not um, it, we still haven't seen that consistent daily volume above 10 billion that I constantly tell you about that's when you're going to know that new money is consistently entering this market and that's going to that typically in my opinion be a very good sign that the bull market has begun we've seen bottom not necessarily a definite but certainly something to watch we haven't seen that yet but we are seeing without question a nice uptick in volume as i said guys so if that can continue obviously guys just that's just more evidence that we may may have seen bottom all right, so what am I watching? I'm watching, obviously, to the upside, guys. As I told you, I'm watching to see if we can decisively break above 41.20. Again, by decisively, I made a daily candle opening and closing above 41.20. Really, what we need to take out is this. Since we had this low, our pivot high on Coinbase, again, it'll vary depending on your exchange, but our pivot high on Coinbase is sitting somewhere around uh, 42.31. Um, so we need to take that high out. We had not taken that high out, even with a wick right here. That's uh, we, we had a high of about 41.90, close, but not quite, um, almost a double top here. Um, so we need to take this high out here. Once we can take that high out, we can officially say that we are that, that we are now creating higher highs and technically we'd be in a, at least a short-term uptrend. We are not in that yet, but this technically could be the start of that. And again, we'll have to wait and see. To the downside, I'm watching this very, very closely. If we break back below 3,600, I do believe there's a good chance that this thing is going to come back down and break down to our prior lows here of a... Uh, of, uh, um, uh, 3,400 to 3,250, somewhere in this zone right down here. Again, not necessarily, and that doesn't necessarily have to happen, but I'm watching 3,600 needs to act as a hard support. If 3,600 breaks down, guys, I do think there's a very good chance that we're going to come down much lower. Um, but right now, guys, I think, I, I, in my opinion, this looks like a possible bull trap. Let's wait and see if we can come back up and at least break into this zone and consolidate above 4,000. Um, even consolidating above 4,000 would be an extremely bullish sign, guys, but really, we need to give get above that 4120. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things there, guys. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. As always, would appreciate an upvote if you have enjoyed this content. Till next time, guys, please trade safe. Take care of yourselves. This is working. Signing out.